Here's an example from your, your world. This was provided to me. And um, first of all, it's an example of overuse of acronyms. And, um, you know, it just, it, it's possible your reader might know these acronyms, but it's just, it's a jumble. And again, the, they're overused in that there is a possibility that not everybody is going to know what these acronyms mean. Anybody um, recognize themselves in this note? Or recognize this kind of note? I think as an organization, we do have a lot of acronyms because a lot of the terms that we have are quite lengthy. Yes. And, and as a newer-ish person to um, the organization, you feel like you're out of the cool kids group if you don't know what they are. So when you come on, you, you try to learn them real quick and start implementing them in your in your communications. Right. <laughs> yes. Well, I and I would bet too that it's you know it's it's standard to, to use them that you assume everybody's going to know them. I mean, I just wonder if there's ways to limit their use because sometimes they make perfect sense and that to write them all out would be too difficult. And so I think it's more a matter of trying to think, will everyone know what all of these mean? But that's a good point, Sandra, that to any new person, any outsider might not know what these acronyms mean. I also think too, when I looked at this note, I. Uh, there was some so writing in it that was like first of all I would have broken this up into a couple of paragraphs because um, it's not there's some stuff in it that's fine and you know as a safety measure is a good way to start a sentence the sentence should the supplier no longer have the ability to supply you have the ability to procure you don't need to that is overwriting that you could just say you know if the supplier can't give us the supply you can procure it and this is where, rather than sort of have the ability, use an active verb. You know, procure is a verb, so use the verb, rather than kind of put in this longish phrase, you know, that um, we have the opportunity to make, uh, you know, a difference here. You know, we're gonna make a difference, or we're making a difference. So when you notice that in your proofreading, use the active verb. 